We'd like to be within three tenths of a millimeter of the actual screen and Just to, because this, it looks symmetrical and it looks right, I'm going to take away just a little bit from both sides. Now we're going to check our facial lingual dimension, which should be 7.8. And we're at exactly 7.7. 7. So we're not going to take away anything there. That's good enough. And then lastly, it was 25.5 in length. And our length currently is 25.5 exactly. So we're not going to do anything more to our dimensions. Now's the time we're going to start rounding. So I like to round the root separate from the crown. So we'll just start at the root, and I'm just going to roll it back and forth in my hand and round each corner one at a time. I'm basically going up to the CJ, but not beyond. That's the fourth of the four roots. Okay, there's our root rounded. Now we're going to round the crown. I always keep my knife perpendicular to the side, the corner that I'm rounding off. And because I know that teeth are more rounded at the gum line, I'm going to get a little more aggressive in my reduction down near the gum line than I am up near the incisal edge. There's one corner rounded. Here goes the next one. It's the mesolingual corner again. Lighter reduction at the near the incisal edge, a little more aggressive reduction near the CHA. Distal lingual corner. And distal facial corner. So there is our tooth in its rough form. Get a feel for it a little bit. The facial view, mesial view, lingual view. I guess that's from mesial view. Get an idea for rounding. Okay, stop right there for a minute. Okay, we are at the point where we're going to go in and look for little tiny discrepancies. So, um, what we'll do is we'll take this tooth and we'll slide it up against it. We're doing the exact same thing we did before. We're looking for little tiny things that don't look right. So I start with the incisal edge and I can see that I need to round it just a little bit more on that one corner. So these are very fine adjustments at this point. Always just comparing it against the picture. Looking for little things that don't look right. Sliding up against this side. That looks good. Sliding it over this direction. Just a little tiny bulge right there in the root. It needs to come off. But that looks pretty close. I'm going to bring it over to the side view. Same thing. Looking for the smallest discrepancies. Looking right here in those concavity for starters. Looks like the root hooks towards the facial just a little bit, so we'll take just a little bit off there. Looks like I've got just a little bit of excess bulge right there on the facial, so. We'll take off just a little bit right there on the facial. <laughs> okay, we are ready to proceed with the, the anatomy portion of this crown. So, we're going to start with the CJ, just like we've done before. Um, there's a couple of ways we can look at this. We can measure it, which I think what we'll do. So I'm going to come over to this picture. And just like before, I'll line it up on the picture. 
and mark the CDJ on both sides. So by making my mark where this line intersects the CDJ, and I'm coming straight up onto my wax. Make sure you've lined up with your incisal edge even with the the edge of the drawing. And we'll roll it over. And again, we're going to be marking right where this line intersects. Get my incised ledge even. And we'll mark that intersect. And the same thing on the lingual side. Now we have four marks on our on our um, carving, and I can connect those up and just draw them. We'll come over and look at this picture as we're drawing, so make sure that we follow the curvature correctly. So I'm kind of comparing against the curvature of that picture. Look up to this picture to see where it goes up in between. picture. So we follow it around. It's really just connecting the dots. So now I've drawn the CJ all the way around that tooth. I'm going to take the knife and we're going to start just below, just apical to the CJ. And with the tip of our knife, we're going to go about a quarter or of a millimeter or less and just trace that CJ around the margins. Okay, now I'm going to come up from above, just faintly take that little ledge off, practically I'm just barely taking off the, the um, ink really. So, very faint line, I don't know how you can see that, but you get a feel for how deep it is as you look at it from the side. Not very deep. The next feature of the anatomy we're going to form is the root anatomy. So we'll be coming up on this um, mesial side. Again, we choose our instrument based on the size or shape that we want to form. So we're going to use the back side of a wax, or the larger side of a wax spatula. I'm going to come right up that root and up into the crown just a little bit.